My son's drum teacher had the idea to create a leaderboard to encourage all the kids to practice. The idea is you, as a parent or a responsible child, if anyone has one of those, can select the child's name and how long they practiced for. And then that's Loki doing a bit of practice. The, uh, the scoreboard's automatically updated, so he's now come into joint second place. This can obviously be used for practising any instrument, but also for homework in general, or even adapted for quizzes, giving scores if people get the right marks, or other games. We're going to show you how to create the form, calculate the scores, format the leaderboard, and send it all out protected. So let's start with a new spreadsheet. So file, new spreadsheet. We're going to call this our Avengers leaderboard. Let's go into tools, create new form. It's already given us our title here. And now we're going to input the questions. First of all, I'm going to move the old ones out of the way. Otherwise they confuse me. Right. So here we go, Avengers leaderboard. We're just going to have two questions. They're both going to be drop downs. Our first question is going to be name. And I'm going to create a drop down and then we can copy and paste our answers into here. So I'm going to copy and paste from what I made earlier. Control C, Control V, and here's all our Avengers in alphabetical order. Great. First question done. Second question, we need to click this add a question button. And this is going to be how long did you practice for? Another drop down. And I'm going to copy and paste my answers from before again. And that is it. That is our form, our questionnaire done. Simple as that, we can send out our form by clicking the send button. And you can click on the link here, shorten URL, and you can send this link out to all of your friends or all the parents. We're gonna copy it and put it in another tab so that we can test that this is working and see how it works. So let's put in a couple of people and a couple of practice sessions. I'm going to speed this up a bit. Good. give us enough data just to see what's going on this is what everybody else is going to see but we can go back to the form that we created and you can see that we've got our responses here this is useful if you're doing a longer survey you can have a quick analysis on what's going on so here we can see that Scott Lang's been doing the most practice and that 16 to 30 minutes and 1 to 15 minutes are the most common amount of practice times but we don't want to see the responses here we want to see them in our sheets there's two ways of doing this we can either click in the view in sheets button here and this will open up a tab with our responses but actually because we started with our sheets we are already getting our responses in the sheet that we created First of all, so this has got our timestamp, the name, and how long do you practice for? You can also collect email addresses in here, which is if you go back to our form, this is in here. This is do not collect. You can collect their verified, so that's when they've clicked through their account, or you can ask them to input their email addresses. So I think it's best to do not collect. You don't really want personal data unless you absolutely need it. If it's just your friends that you're sending it around to, great. But this is being sent out to parents that I don't know, so I don't want to collect them. Don't do any calculations on this sheet that's automatically created. I'll show you why. So if we imagine we have some calculations down here. So imagine these are all calculations. We're going to put in a couple more responses and you'll notice that these get wiped. Even though these are the only columns that are getting filled out, 
all of the columns will be wiped. I'll show you. So even strange has been added and the next response has been and everything next to him has been wiped. But that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to call this sheet our scores and we're going to do all of our calculations here. So the first thing we're going to put in is our points, so how much each response is worth. There you go. The idea here is you get two points for one to 15 minutes and three points for 16 to 30 minutes. So you get more points if you do two lots of 15 minutes than if you do one lot of 30 minutes. That's to encourage little and often. Once we've added in the points, we're going to add in the, the names of our Avengers or our children. I'd like to imagine the Avengers as children, really. We put those in here, put down one more, and we're going to put above here a long, long ways rather than downwards. We're going to put how much each practice session is worth. Nice, little, easy formula for that. It's called transpose and you can just select everything that you want flipped and that goes in there like that. In the old days you used to have to use like control shift enter and it'd be an array function which was a little bit more awkward to do. But nowadays just use transpose and it goes in there like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill out this table how many times each student has practiced for that length of time and then we're going to add up all of their scores and create the leaderboard so to fill that out to do that we're going to use a count ifs a nice little formula that i use quite a lot actually we want to count how many times bruce banner appears and how many times he does one to 15 minutes there is a count if if you just want one condition but we've got our two conditions the first is our child and the second is the session length I'm going to put in Bruce Banner first so you can see how that works. We're going to count all of the names here, select that whole column. If you select the whole column, then that means more data can come in and it's automatically updated. And then we're going to select Bruce Banner and you can see how many times Bruce Banner has done his practice. So twice. You can check that. Bruce Banner is here and he is here, so he's in here twice. Brilliant. Now we're going to add our next condition, which is how long did he practice for? So we're going to do a comma. We're going to select all of the practice lengths, another comma, and we're going to select one to 15 minutes. Have both his practice sessions, one to 15 minutes. Interesting. OK, cool. We now need to move this across and down. So we want to do our fixing. So we always are going to be looking at column B. So we need to function F4, fix that. The child is always going to be in column A, but we want it to move down. So in which case we want to fix the A, but not the 10. So you can either do function F4 to kind of scroll through the options, or you can just put a dollar before the A. Similarly, our practice session length is always going to be in column C, so we can fix that. And our session length up here is always going to be in row 8, but it's going to move along the columns. So we want to fix the 8. There you go, that's all our fixing done. Copy and paste all of this down here. And we can see that Bruce Banner's done two lots of 1 to 15 minutes. James Buchanan has do, done 16 to 30 and 46 to 60. We can go back and check that these are these are right. Excellent. I'm going to bold these because these are our points and we're going to now calculate the scores. I like this formula. I haven't used it in a while, actually. It used to be one of my favourites. <laughs> right. So this is called our sum product. As some product will calculate two times two plus three times zero plus four times zero, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So it does a timesing and multiplying of each row that you're selecting. So it doesn't matter which way round you do the rows, 
but you do need to make sure you're fixing the right row. So we're going to put our top row first. That's always going to stay the same. We're always going to multiply each of our individual results by that top row. So let's fix that now and then we can select our next row. Yeah. You can autofill, yeah, sure, autofill. So this will do a two times two, and that's it, which is four. And this one will do a one times three plus a one times five, which is eight. Here we have our scores, or our points, sorry, let's call that points. Excellent. And we can check that this automatically updates. Let's, Thor and Tony Stark can do some practicing. Thor's strong, he's definitely doing over an hour. And Tony Stark has a very short attention span, so he's just doing one to 15 minutes. Cool, we've now got 13 responses. And Thor has done over an hour, and Tony Stark, one to 15 minutes. Excellent, they've got their points. Now we need to create our leaderboard. Before we create our leaderboard, we want to know, we want to put people in in order. So whoever's in first place goes at the top, whoever's second goes second, etc, etc. To help us do this, we can create a rank. It's a nice, simple formula. We literally write rank and we want to see how four points ranks compare to all of our other scores. So Bruce Banner is in fifth position with four points. Who's in first position? First position is, is Scott Lang with 11 points. Go Scott. That's second is Clint Barton. And third is Steve Strange. Now that's great. We've got an order for, for our leaderboard. So who's going to be first, second, third? Etc. But I don't know if you've noticed, we've got draws. We've got a few people on eight points. And when we go into our leaderboard, that's going to be difficult because Google Sheets is only going to look at who's the first person in eighth position, Steve Rogers. They'll put him in eighth position and then they won't have anybody in ninth, ten position. So we're going to create a new column called position. And we're going to use exactly the same rank formula. So I'm going to copy that whole formula and paste it into the formula bar rather than the cell. It keeps everything in the same place. It's instead of fixing G10, it's pretty lazy to be honest. We won't copy that down because we haven't finished yet. What we want to do is we want to add on another number if we've already got somebody in that position. So this is our first person in eighth position, but we've got this one in eighth as well. So instead of eighth, we want it to be in ninth and this one in tenth. A neat way of doing this, I'll send a link of where I got this from, is doing a count if again, count if or count ifs, we're just doing one condition. So we only need a count if, I'm going to put in a count ifs, just because I can. <laughs> this time we're selecting the area that we want to count before we're selecting the count. So it's a slightly different way around where we're having the kind of range before the individual number. So we're going to always be looking above us. We're going to fix the cell above so that the top is always going to be the top, but the bottom of what we're looking at is going to move down because we're looking at if anyone above has scored the same as us. And if so, it's going to add one. So here we've got a rank of five. We've got four points already in there. So we're going to add one for that. And we'll correct that in a minute. I'll just show you that for now, we're always adding another one onto the rank, unless there's a draw. So here we're adding one, but where we've got a draw again here and here, we're adding another two and three. But yeah, as it always adds on one, there's two things you can do. You can either add a one, sorry, minus one, Minus a one so that we start at one. We go down to 11. Or well, the other way you can do it is actually you can start your count from above your current score. So instead of looking at, instead of counting your score, just go one above here. 
and get rid of your one. And we still have a first position, etc. So two ways of doing that. So you're only ever counting the ones above. Excellent. We've got our position, our rank, our points, our name. This is everything that we need in our leaderboard. We don't want to overcomplicate it. So let's go create our leaderboard. Leaderboard. I like to have a little bit of a border. So I'm going to move that here. Actually, I'm going to put our positions in this here and then I might make them white. Mm. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. So we've got 11 Avengers. And we want, actually I'll move these down a bit. Because we want some space for some headings. We're going to have our name, a number of points, and our rank. And this is why we've done our position, to find out where people are. We're now going to look up everybody and put them in the right place. Whoever's in the first position is going to be first. We're going to do an index match. We're going to break down this index match function. We're going to have match in first. So what we're going to do here is we're going to match, find out who's in position one. So look up one within our ranks. Oh, sorry, our positions here. Fix that. Always put a comma zero. That makes it an exact match. There you go. And now we know that it is uh, whoever's in position one is in index six. It can be a bit confusing with position ranks. So I'm trying to be consistent. We're going to call this our index. So if we go to our scores, one is in one, two, three, four, five, six, index six. And who is that? That is Scott Lang. So we're now going to say who is in index six. So what name is in index six? So we're going to do an index. We're going to highlight what we want. So the name column. So make sure you start the same place. Oops, I didn't select index. Sometimes you need to click first. So we'll go here are our names let's make sure we start at 9 9 to 20 on both of them fix that so we're going to find out who's in sixth position within our list of names enter and it's scott lang brilliant we're not going to fix our a4 because we're going to move down we can fix our a though so that we can move down we can find out who's in our different positions and we've got unique names all down there, which is great. Our points, if we drag this across, we should get name again. But instead of name, we're going to look at the number of points. That's in a different column. So number of points is in column G. Our rank is in column H. So instead of column A, we want column G. And if we don't fix the G, that will move when we move across. So Scott Lang's got 11 points, that's why he's in first position. And here's our rank, so we've got our draws here. We've got two people in third position. Excellent, let's make this a bit bigger. We're now going to do our formatting. First thing I want to do is make this black. And make the writing white. I'm going to hide all of this and make that a little bit shorter. Make this bit black as well, actually. And um, we can change, make these bits smaller. So double click there. We can center them. Uh, we can hide everything from here below and if we get rid of our grid lines that will look a bit better as well that is in view i think view show grid lines untick that cool we're looking looking better already we're going to do some formatting to make the person who's in top place gold second is going to be silver and third place bronze and you can see we've got a a draw there the two people are going to be colored in bronze we're going to use conditional formatting. I'm going to highlight this whole row. 
although we're going to format the whole area in case there are draws. We'll go format, conditional formatting. We're going to apply to the whole area, so all the way down to 15. Format rules, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom to custom formula. Is because we're doing a formula, we're going to start with an equals and we care about D4. So if D4 is one, you're in first position. We're going to fix the D because we always want to be looking at D. Whatever is in D column is in position one. Then we're going to make it a nice gold. There's a gold. That's done. We click in there again and we do add another rule. This will keep exactly the same rules that we've got. So that means we don't have to retype anything. This time we go and look at who's in second position and we're going to make them silver. I'm going to add another rule. You don't need to save. We're going to look at who's in third position. And instead of silver, we're going to have bronze. Hopefully it's not too similar to gold. There we go, look at that. Done, we can add in a logo at the top if we wish. Let's check that that works by adding in another response. Let's move Loki up. So let's, Loki can do a little bit more practice because I like Loki. And how long do you want to do? See if that's enough to to move him up, he's now moved up to the third position. He's now bronze. Um, Dr. Strange and Thor has moved down. As I said, add in a logo if you wish. You can also, in your main question board here, you can add in logos and change the colors. Go in here and click into theme and you can choose an image. What's quite nice is let me choose a colourful one. Oh, it's got a guitar. Double click in that. Apply that. And then it also changes the top colour. And you can see what that will look like straight away. There you go. It's a bit nicer, doesn't it? Automatic formatting for you. I like it. What we need to do is send it out though. We don't want to send it out where people can see all of this stuff. So we're just going to hide these. So hide sheet, hide sheet. And then we don't want people to be able to edit this, but we want anyone who has the link to be able to see it. So, you, so we need to go into share in here we can share it and instead of this being restricted we want anyone with the link to be able to view we don't want them to be able to edit um, if you want to add add in their names up here and they will also be able to access that's it done uh, to send it out then if you remember we just go to the send button you can either write an email in here put in the emails or you can write your own email shorten the url and send that link out and also send this link out here that's it hope you enjoyed the video um, if you did if you could click on that subscribe button then you can see more videos let me know in the comments section if you think this like what you think that this could be used for or if you have any comments or questions or suggestions let us know thank you very much cheers bye